Welcome to Monhegan Middle School. My name is Dominic Radonia. I'm the principal at Monhegan Middle School, and I'd like to welcome you this evening to our eighth grade academic awards celebration. It's an awesome evening where we get to honor several students uh, that are eighth graders moving on pretty soon to the high school, and we get to show them how proud we are of them and how appreciative we are of all of their hard work during the course of the school year. So it's going to be a very exciting evening. And let's just start off with a round of applause for all our award recipients. Just quickly, we have emergency exits in the rear of the auditorium. And then on both sides, in case we need to use them, uh, we would utilize all three exits to make sure we vacate the premises safely. Uh, before we get started, uh, just a few welcomes. I'd like to welcome Mr. Richard Del Moro, our superintendent of schools. Mr. John Perino, the President of the Board of Education. Mr. Vincent Crescenzo, Board of Education member. Mr. Kevin Gomez, member of the Board of Education and parent. District Administrators Rachel Kuntz. Norval Connell, Elizabeth Bowler, she's got the big smile because she's so happy she's sitting on the stage. Thank you, Liz. And Linda Bratt. About 30 more seconds just to say thank you to Amber and LaDonna who are working the sound and lights and video and everything this evening. Thank you. And also Mr. Kevin Witt, who's here covering the event for us this evening. Thank you, Mr. Witt. Okay. So we're going to get the event started. Like I said, an awesome evening. It's going to be very exciting for all of us. We're going to start off with Miss Elisa Schreiner, Dean of Students, with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, I think I'm going to hijack the mic for just a quick second before introducing our keynote speaker. This night is always a very special night for all of us here at Monhagen. It's really nice to see all these eighth graders before they move on to the high school. But this is a very special class to me. So you guys, we all came in together. We all came in. I, my first day of school here was your first day of school here. So I've gotten to know you guys very well. And I will always remember this class as you guys move on through the years. So I want to say thank you because you were my first sixth grade class, and you guys, have, I want to say thank you also for maturing so much since you were in sixth grade. Um, it's been a pleasure getting to know you guys, um, especially through the years, but as well as DC. Bus two was much better than bus one, I'm just saying. So congratulations to all of you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker for the night, Mr. Richard Del Moro, Superintendent of Schools. Good evening, everyone. Uh, certainly, uh, it's always a special time to come back to Monhagen, as I probably lost a lot of shoe leather in the hallways um, as principal here for five years. It's always a pleasure to come back. But tonight is very special. So again, welcoming everyone, parents alike, board members, family, Ms. Redonia, Ms. Elisa, all of, all of our guests here tonight. It's really a recognition night of hard work and toil. Tonight, I'm very proud and privileged to be given this opportunity to acknowledge the achievements of our eighth grade scholars who may have made Monhagen Middle School, as well as your parents, very, very proud. And we are all very proud of them. So let's give a hand to all of the recipients to begin with.
Tonight's program, as you can see in the program here tonight, right, is held not only to recognize their achievement in academics, socialization, and citizenship, but also to exemplify their compassion and zeal for learning. Recently, a professor from Stanford University, Carol Dweck, developed and is continuing to develop strategies in terms of for learning and lifelong existence in our life as we grow. And her whole practice is about growth mindset. And growth mindset, many of the educators know, and I'm trying to share this idea with parents who may not be aware. It's about uh, learning, about citizenship, it's about persistence, it's about hard work and uh, resilience. And sometimes educators overuse these concepts to think that it's the be all and end all, but certainly not, as Professor talks about how it's the beginning of the child's potential. And all of us as educators know that our goal is to maximize student potential. So part of all learning and growing is what you accomplish. And indeed, you've accomplished a great deal as exemplified by tonight. How you behave, how you treat others. Yes, what I am talking about are your deeds. This will determine whether or not you are a successful lifelong student in one's pursuit to be a positive contributor to our communities. Awards are given for many reasons, and all of us want to receive them. It's only natural that we do. And when we do receive an award, it's a visible sign that someone else beside ourselves has recognized your hard work and that you tried your best. Often when we're studying, working alone, it's extremely difficult, especially when our friends are hanging out, playing video games. One might ask themselves, why bother? Why are we doing this? Why are we putting us through ourselves through this struggle? Well, the answer is here tonight. We care. All of us who are here care. And even those who are unable to join us tonight care. All of these awards are symbols of your preparation and tireless efforts to succeed. So when you step up here tonight and cross the stage, we understand all what went into you, you, receiving your award. You deserve these awards because you have earned them. How do I know that? I wasn't here for your instruction. Well, I ask everyone here tonight to listen very carefully to the teacher's explanation of why you were selected for this award. Scholars, and I call you that with all endearment, maintain your passion to be engaged and hardworking as you enter your high school experience within a few months. Some may say that the high school experience years are the best years of your life, but that will only be so if you totally immerse yourself in the total high school program. Do not sit back. Do not be passive. Whether your interests and passions are in the academics, on the field of play, or on the playing courts, the performing arts, or any clubs that really interest you and engage you, take full advantage of them. The only loss is if you do not participate in any of them. But before we recognize all of these scholars tonight, I'm going to ask all of the audience to join me in looking at how they arrived here, one by the parents. So let's give the parents well-deserved round of applause. Guardians, family members who help and support every day, every day. But I also think it would be remiss on my part not to recognize all of the teachers. So teachers, please stand up.
I want to acknowledge all of our teachers who have worked tirelessly to assist each scholar to achieve their personal best. So, again, I ask all of us to give a well-deserved, give it up as they say, a round of applause for each of the scholars. Congratulations and good luck to all of you. At this time, I'd like to invite up our congratulatory speaker. She is the current president of our student council, Ms. Alyssa Gomez. Mr. Del Moro, Ms. Cruden, Ms. Brott, Ms. Bowler, Ms. Coons, Mr. Cornell, Mr. Rodonia, Ms. Schreiner, staff, families, friends, and fellow classmates. Thank you for joining us tonight. I am Melissa Gomez, Mon Hagen Student Council President. I am very proud to be standing in front of some of the boldest and most outgoing students to ever walk the halls of Mon Hagen. We have definitely made our mark on our journey starting off as impressionable sixth graders and leaving as unforgettable eighth graders. Throughout these three years, we have overcome many challenges, learned many new things, and overall grown together. We have had many amazing teachers and supporters who I'm sure have lots of opinions on us, yet they always put us and our education above all. Without them, there is no way we would have made it this far. On behalf of my class, we would like to say thank you to all the teachers and staff. We appreciate you and you will never be forgotten. Everyone here tonight has set goals and spent the last three years working towards success. We have put in lots of effort and with the support of our teachers, families, and friends, hopefully achieved them. It feels good to stand before you and recognize the hard work we all put in, even if it means missing my double header softball game. Although our chapter of middle school is coming to an end, we look forward to the new opportunities waiting for us in the high school. We are excited to begin this new chapter of our lives and not forget the lessons we learned here in Monhagen. Congratulations, class of 2019. We did it. Alyssa, that was a great job, really nice job. <laughs> to start the evening's awards, we're gonna begin with eighth grade students who achieved honor roll this year. Nilas Alvarez. Zandrea Brown. <laughs> Sierra Bryant. <laughs> Stephanie Bolson. Sania Cannon. <laughs> How to give dad his moment. Jimena Cervantes. <laughs> Sephora Charlotte. <laughs> D. 
Diego Cruz. Melissa Diaz. Nicholas Franco Cuelo. Sergio Gonzalez Monroy. Ileana Lopez Guerrero. Elizabeth Matos. Jaden McCain. Mikhail Quinones. Anaya Ramos. Damari Rodriguez. Zenzen Tao. Kaylee Wheeler. And Brittany Williams. Our next group of students are going to receive an award for high honor roll. In order to achieve high honor roll, they had to maintain a 90 average in all three of the first quarters. Pretty difficult to do. It takes a lot of hard work and perseverance. We're going to start with Samantha Abraham. <laughs> Jenna Alexander. Bianca Amabile. <laughs> Sofia Aparicio. <laughs> Mackenzie Bailey. <laughs> yes, she's here. Austin Barringer. <laughs> Alessandra Chavez. <laughs> Tajpal Chilana. Edward Cebu. <laughs> Tania Clark. <laughs> Ricardo Cruz, Jr. <laughs> Gilberto De Champs, Laura. Nyla Flores. Jade Fontanez. Janelle Garcia. Emily Gardner. <laughs> J. 
Giselle Glover. Alyssa Gomez. Kevin Gomez Jr. Alexandra Gularte. <laughs> Sonia Hernandez. Sean Knight. Joy Lynn. Maylin Matos. Sir William Mormon the Third. Ayush Patel. Brandon Persons. Ricard Ramirez. Alessandrea Rodriguez. Sophia Rodriguez. Liliana Rosa. Joseph Russo. Juliana Speckenbach. Darren Sun. Gabriela Vasquez. Eric Zapata Marin. That was a lot of students. Great job, everybody. One more round of applause. At this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Antoinette Gravagna and Mr. Samuel Thomas with the Drama Club Award. This year's Drama Award recipient has been involved in drama for all three years at Monhagen. Not on the stage though, but behind the scenes. Even as a sixth grader, he was always eager to get started on stage crew. He has served as student stage manager in several productions and is one of the most responsible and capable stage crew members we've ever had. I have no doubt that he's destined for great things and will be a great asset to the Gertex at the high school. Congratulations to Darren Sun.
Good evening. Webster defines perseverance as not giving up. It is persistence and tenacity. It requires effort to do something and do it right, even if it's hard. This student represents those traits. She was committed to have a can-do attitude of excellence. Her team spirit was honorable and commendable in our talent show and in our play The Lion King. The recipient of the Drama Club Award, Liliana Rosa. Up next to pre present the Band and Jazz Band Award is Mrs. Ryan Carlosi. This, year, this year's Jazz Band Award recipient has been a member of Jazz Band all three years. He's shown an interest in all different jazz styles and improvisation. This year, as a senior member of the group, he was a leader amongst his peers, and will certainly miss him as he heads off to the high school. Congratulations to Eric Zapata Man, this year's jazz band recipient. Four years ago, I received an email from Miss Helen Bellis, who was the band director at Maple Hill at the time. She emailed me telling me that she had an uprising fifth grader that was switching from flute to oboe, and she asked me to help her out at the MIDI, uh, MIDI music camp um, that summer with the switch, but that she wasn't concerned because her student was incredibly smart and very motivated. Since then, I've had the opportunity to conduct Sophia in 14 different concerts. She participated in NISMA every year. She also participated in drama club and chorus during her time here. Ms. Bellis was right about her being incredibly smart and motivated. She had an A average for band and in theory, and has been selected to participate in the wind ensemble next year in the high school. So congratulations to Sophia Aparicio. <laughs> Up next to um, give the chorus award is Miss Antoinette Gravagna. I am extremely proud of all of the eighth grade chorus members. I would like to recognize one member of chorus who has sung with us for the past three years and has continuously shown her dedication to the group. Her commitment serves as a model to all members of Chorus. I'm very pleased to have been able to watch her flourish throughout her middle school career. This year's eighth grade Chorus Award recipient has shown courage and dedication by performing as a soloist in many of our concerts and even performing in all county chorus as well as our drama club. And I know she will be a great asset to the high school choral program. I wish her best of luck and much success in future endeavors. Congratulations to Jade Fontenay. <laughs> Next to present the award for orchestra is Ms. Diana Mars. It's always hard to just pick one student because there's so many deserving students. But this year's orchestra student 
is an exceptionally hardworking and motivated student. She continually goes above and beyond, is always smiling, and always willing to help out in the classroom. She's a valued member of orchestra for the last three years and was a participant in the talent show earlier this year, um, NISMA for the last three years, and the pit orchestra for the Lion King. This year's recipient for um, the orchestra is Joy Lynn. Up next is Ms. Denoto to present both the French and the Spanish awards. Me llamo Senora Lugo. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'm actually going to give the French award first. Ms. Pierre, she was sick today and she called me up and she was like frantic and she was saying, I'm so upset because I really, really wanted to be here tonight to give this award to this student. And I teach Spanish so I didn't know who the student was. But she was going on and on and she was saying, he's so amazing and he's so smart, and, but it's more than that. He, he's so committed to learning and he just has this zeal for just new cultures and finding out everything he can know about the language. And I got it, because I teach language too. So I, I also understood how stressed out she was that she couldn't give it. So I'm actually honored to give her award for her tonight for Austin Barringer. Espanol. Okay. So like every teacher always says the same thing, it's hard to choose. And it really was because I had a five-way tie for highest average. Um, so when I had to decide who I was going to give this award to, I really wanted to think about why we take a language course in the first place. And how it's just so much more than words and phrases on a page. And it really is about citizenship and culture and communication and really people. And I wanted to award somebody who had that same passion. So it was without comparison, as we say in Spanish, no hay color. It was a simple choice. This student brought this passion every single day. And there was never a day. She was always writing down every single word I said or was on the board. And I would say, well, that's not even a vocabulary word. And she would say, but I'm going to use it one day. And that's so rare in a language student to see somebody who just sees the bigger picture. And my fondest memory of her, and I really wanted to say this, is one day we were talking about traveling and I asked the kids where in the world, if anywhere, they would go if they could. And kids were like, oh, Paris. And I'm like, of course, everybody wants to go to Paris. And she said, I want to build a school with you in the Dominican Republic. And it moved me because that's the bigger picture. And I just knew in that moment, right then and there, that this student would move mountains. So I would like to award Mackenzie Bailey with the Spanish. And now to present the award for Heritage Spanish is um, Ms. Jessup, Senora Jessup. award is well deserved. Well done 
taking home this award. <laughs> Sorry. I'm proud of you, and congratulations, and my best wishes to the high school. Liliana Rosa. My next class is um, home language arts in Spanish. My student, unfortunately, he's not here tonight, but I, um, I can say to him, his dedication and excellence of academic shows her beautiful um, character as a student. And I can say congratulations, Sergio Gonzalez. The next award will be presented um, for Mrs. Melissa Kay for ESL. This year's ENL award goes to a student who has shown tremendous growth and motivation over the course of the school year. Unfortunately, he was not able to make it tonight, but this year's award goes to Sergio Gonzalez Monroy. Next up with the award for library is Ms. Soper. Hi guys. <laughs> um, this was a difficult choice because I have had a number of students who have been great library aides in addition to being enthusiastic readers and overall exemplary young adults. However, this one student has been a library aide all three years of middle school. She has helped me in the library immensely with projects both big and small, and a sixth grader this year asked me if she was president of the library. <laughs> uh, this student has read over 160 library books during her middle school career. And I am so proud of her. Um, she's in the library every day, multiple times a day, and I will truly miss seeing her as she has been such a joy to me. <laughs> I know she will do great things in the high school and beyond, and the library award goes to Joy Lynn. with the Physical Education Award is Ms. Conley, Mr. Krebs, and Ms. Mr. Waymer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to <laughs> On behalf of the Physical Education Department, we would first like to congratulate all the award recipients tonight. We are very proud of you and more than honored to be a part of this small chapter in your life, so congratulations. Picking two students to give the Physical Education Award is a difficult task, as there are many deserving students. Aside from being athletic and competing on five different teams, modified, JV, and varsity level, these two students are the true epitome of our mission as a department. They serve as role models through their leadership skills, their positive attitude, perseverance, and most importantly, understanding of teamwork. When I think of these two students, I think of what Simon Sinek once said. A star wants to see himself rise to the top. A leader wants to see those around him rise to the top. Congratulations to Alyssa Gomez and Joseph Russo.
Please welcome our next presenters, Ms. Hidalgo and Mr. Worsby. Good evening. The recipient of this award has impeccable time management, determination, and the ability to remain focused on her education. She is reserved and diligent. Her self-discipline has awarded her the highest overall GPA in all of my pre-engineering courses for the 2018-2019 school year. She has an apparent passion for success and assuredly will have a bright future. Juliana Speckenbach, please accept the award. This student's kindness, motivation, willingness to pitch in uh, certainly make a difference here at Mount Hagen Middle School. His strong and varied technical skill set coupled with a strong drive to solve problems has earned this student a certificate of excellence from our pre-engineering program, Darren Sun. I'd now like to invite Ms. Heidi Berger up uh, for an award for the Mathematics Department. Good evening. This evening's Mathematics Award winners for Cluster 5 have dedicated themselves to making the grade. Achieving a high grade point average requires completing all assignments to your fullest potential paying attention to the tiniest details all of the time, and participating in many mathematical discussions. Both recipients have exhibited all of these qualities and more. For the Algebra Award, I would like to actually thank the student for all of the conversations we've had this year and all of the many questions that we have fired. So the Algebra Award goes to Tej Paul. So, yeah. Sitting in my first period class is a young lady that every day reminds me of one of my own children with her beautiful headbands. <laughs> this year's Math 8 Cluster 5 goes to Jenna Alexander. the Cluster 6 Math Awards is Mr. Michael Redman. Now, I'm going to start off by thanking Mr. Hedonia for showing us this microphone comes off, because every year I wind up doing one of these. Now, thank you again, Ms. Berger. Uh, I'm going to give two awards this year, and I'm very, very pleased to give both. And this first student is going to get my Math 8 Award. This student really embodies a quiet confidence. Right? Throughout the entire year, he demonstrated all of his true strength and leadership in his actions, as opposed to being one of the more outspoken students in class. Now, in my opinion, it's always an honor and a pleasure to recognize students who excel and they lead in a more quiet fashion, as opposed to constantly needing attention and really doing it just for the praise. So through a product of all of his hard work and his dedication, it is my pleasure to give my Math 8 award to Mikel Quinones. Oh, you guys throw me in a loop right here. Mikel. 
Try number two. Now, now, in equally exciting fashion, I get to give my Algebra One award to a student who this year has kind of opened my eyes a little bit more to the teaching profession and why we've really all gotten into it. So this student, throughout the entire year, has time and time again made me feel rewarded just to even be their teacher. So their emphatic interest in math and their genuine concern and just desire to learn and learn and learn and go way above and beyond what we normally have to cover in class has is just really it made class what it was. There, it also, it showed me how powerful energy in class can actually be through all these years. So getting to go and, and continue to try to challenge the student and get them to see just how many things math has to offer was exciting just to, to be their teacher. So today, I'm honored to give this award to Ms. Juliana Speckenbach. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce Ms. Jen Binder to give out her Math Aid Awards. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, the student that I'm giving my academic award to is an exemplary student. He works hard both in and out of the classroom, maintaining an AB average all four quarters while holding a job after school and being part of the wrestling team. He's a kind young man who is dedicated to being successful in the classroom. If he missed the bus, he walked to school. If he finished work early, he asked what he could do next. He was a pleasure to teach and always had a smile on his face. So Mrs. DeYoung and I are very proud to congratulate Nicholas Rodriguez. <laughs> Up next is Miss Hazlitt. <clears throat> This Math Aid Award goes to a student who always does the right thing. Every day he comes in with a smile, even after he sees what work I've has, had assigned. He is always eager to learn and puts extra work in. I'm proud to present this award to Alan Martinez. Unfortunately, he's not here tonight, but that's okay. And next is Mrs. Miranda. Good evening. Um, I'm here to present the Cluster 5 English Literature Award. This goes to an individual that continually strives to do his best every day. He not only had the highest average in a very competitive class, but is always willing to think outside of the box and participate in a creative way, like when he acted as Johnny on trial, or <laughs> dressed as a squirrel for a presentation. <laughs> this student, hands down, deserves the English Literature Award for Cluster 5. I am proud to announce Eddie Sebu. <laughs> Um, I also have the Cluster 5 English Aid Award. This award goes to a young lady who exhibits all the attributes of success. I'm happy to say that the English Aid Award goes to Carmen Castillo. <laughs> Unfortunately, Carmen couldn't make it tonight. Next up is Mrs. Jessica Furstan with the other English Aid Awards. The 
Cluster 6 English Literature Award goes to a student whose attention to detail, enthusiasm for learning, and positive attitude are unparalleled. Her writing is engaging and compelling. I have no doubt that she will accomplish her dream of becoming a forensic psychologist. This award goes to Juliana Speckenbach. I also have one more award to present. The Cluster 6 ELA award goes to the student with the highest average out of all four of my ELA classes. He constantly strives to do his best on any academic challenge he faces. His sense of humor always brightens the room. I'm happy to present the award to Nicholas Franco Coelho. Up next, we have Miss Gina Sylvester. Hi. Um, I teach English 8 as well, and I'm so excited to be here to give this award to a student whose work ethic has never once wavered from day one until today. She constantly tries her best, and she gives 100% every day. My favorite thing about her is what a leader she is. She's always willing to help her friends do their best as well, even if it means roasting them in the process. <laughs> I will miss her infectious smile next year, but she's going to be amazing, and I can't wait to see what she does. The English Aid Award is for Jalee Scream. Up next, we have Miss Orlovskaya. Good evening. This award is for a young lady who has shown both myself and Mrs. DeYoung, my co-teacher, the meaning of determination. Her consistent effort and focus has made her a clear choice for this award. She wants to be an English teacher when she grows up, and by selecting her as this award's recipient, we want to make it clear that not only do we support her dream, but we will be there cheering her on in the years to come, and hopefully one day she will do the same for her students. Her hard work helped her get great rewards this year, and we know that in the future she will continue to grow. So Olivia Rivera, congratulations, and we can't wait for you to succeed. Up next for Science Awards is Mrs. Reardon. Hi guys, I have two awards to present tonight. My first award is for the Science 8. This goes to a student who has excelled all year she has the highest average in all of my Science 8 classes. And I can always count on her to raise her hand or help another student. And this award goes to Jenna Alexander. My next award is for bio, and this award goes to a student that treats others with respect. He sets the bar for others to reach. This student has a bright future and will make a difference. I am happy to give this award to Tej Paul, wearing my favorite color.
And next to present the award is Miss Denise Trumpler. This is so good for short people, is it? All right, well, good evening. By this point in the night, if I wore mascara, it would be down my face. I don't wear it because my eyes water all the time. But oh my goodness, it's so exciting to watch you um, get these awards, all the incredible things that you're doing here in eighth grade. I can't imagine what you're going to do in four years at the high school. It's very exciting. So keep up all the good work, OK? I um, am the biology teacher and um, eighth grade science teacher. Um, and I really enjoyed working with these students this year. There's, it's difficult to choose, but we go by academics. So um, I'll start with my science eight, Kirsten Galloway. I was gonna say more, but you guys started clapping really quick. This. Let's see if it is here. There it is, sweetheart. She is a leader in her class. She works really hard academically. Sweetheart, I hope you do wonderful things in the high school. All right, biology. Uh, I, I work them really hard. The competition is great. This group of kids, they work together. They've been friends. They challenge each other. The uh, academic um, averages were really, really tight. Um, uh, but I'm really proud of Austin Barringer. Austin, I figured out what I do wrong. I say the name before I finish. So next year, I'll get better at that. All right, so Austin, um, nice job. And Austin, um, Austin's awesome because he challenges his friends and when they're talking it's always a discussion about the problem i like to say they attack the problem and he does a great job challenging his peers in academic discussions so nice job austin good job sweetheart all right so I get to introduce Ms. Alvarez for Science 8. Hi. Um, unfortunately, the recipient for my award is not here tonight. He had to work. And just like he is in school in his personal life, he takes his work very seriously. Um, my award goes to Alan Martinez. And up next, the amazing Mr. Brooks. It's always nice when the student with the highest grade also shows the highest level of enthusiasm for the subject matter. The Cluster 6 Social Studies Award goes to a true scholar by the name of Tyler Gahagan. Cluster 6 Humanities Award goes to a student that never had a missing or late assignment and earned a 100 on every quarterly exam. With a 100 average for the year so far, this award goes to Austin Barringer.
Next on the mic, Mr. James McGee. This year's Social Studies Award is going to a very deserving student. I've been uh, honored to see her remarkable growth th uh, throughout this year. She's consistently maintained a positive attitude and always put forth her best effort. Getting to know her as a student as well as an individual has been a pleasure. Through her persistence and hard work, she's earned the highest GPA in my grade eight Social Studies class. I'm proud to present this award to Carmen Castillo. Unfortunately, Carmen's not here this evening. Okay, this year's Humanities Award is going to a most outstanding student. She is hardworking and commendable. She has worked diligently throughout this school year. Through her dedication and commitment to her schoolwork, she's earned the highest GPA in my humanities class. Her work ethic and demeanor leaves me no doubt that she'll succeed in everything that she attempts. I'm proud to present this award to Liliana Rosa. Up next is Mr. Mark Darnabit. Tonight I'm giving my academic award to a student that has shown consistent academic success for the past two years. When it comes to understanding history, this student clearly has a gift but he wouldn't have accomplished what he has if it wasn't for hard work, discipline, and dedication. His understanding and participation have no doubt had a positive impact on those around him. So not only has Yair Hernandez enjoyed great academic achievement, he's also unknowingly raised his peers to new levels of success. So this award is for Yair Hernandez. And please welcome back Mr. Brooks. Mr. McGee and I have the honor of giving out a Triple C Award. Now, the New York State Triple C acknowledges a student who typifies courage, character, and commitment. It's awarded by the New York State Comptroller every year. This year's Cluster Six Triple C Award winner was not difficult to choose. The award goes to one of the most motivated students I've ever seen. You deserve this and so much more. Alessandrea Rodriguez. The New York State Triple C Award as Mr. Brooks says, acknowledges a student who typifies courage, commitment, and character. This year, the award is going to a student who not only excelled in her studies, but strived to elevate her fellow students. She not only, her fellow classmates, not fellow students, she was not merely a model student, but has also been able to balance her academics with athletics and volunteerism 
within the Middletown community. It is with pride that I present this award to Nyla Florette. The next awards we're going to give out are the Outstanding Cluster Student Awards. The cluster teachers from both Cluster 5 and Cluster 6 got together and decided on two students for each cluster that they felt worked hard and had all the characteristics of an excellent student, whether it be personality, their willingness to help other students, their achievement academically, and all of those things you would hope you would see in, in your top students. Cluster 5 would like to present their awards to first Savannah Cheatham. <laughs> and Guido Sarango Congo. Cluster 6 would like to present their awards to Sonia Hernandez. and Ricardo Cruz. Next, I'll introduce Ms. Natalie Navarra for the Guidance Award for Educational Excellence. Good evening, everyone. I am pleased to present the Guidance Award for Academic Excellence, Perseverance, and Tenacity to Orlando Mendoza and Jenna Alexander. I'm sorry? Oh, Jenna Alexander? I'm sorry. You're welcome. Okay, this is the home stretch. New York State Comptroller's Award. The New York State Comptroller's Achievement Award is presented each year to a student who has excelled academically and has also shown leadership potential by volunteering his or her time to serve the school or community. Comptroller Tom Thomas DiNapoli sends his sincere congratulations and best wishes to all of the eighth grade students. The winner of the New York State Comptroller's Award, there is actually two. Miss Liliana Rosa. <laughs> this is like your seventh award. You don't have to be surprised anymore. <laughs> and Miss Malin Matos. Last award is the President's Award. I'm going to read to you a quick note from President Donald Trump, and then I'm going to tell you who the four <laughs> award winners are. Mrs. Trump and I, this is from Donald, this is not me. <laughs> Mrs. Trump and I are pleased to con congratulate you on receiving the 2019 President's Education Award. It is a privilege to join your family, friends, school and community in celebrating your wonderful achievement. The success and education of our youth are vitally important 
to the future of America and the entire world. Your distinguished commitment to learning gives us great hope. Our nation is strengthened by your hard work, leadership, and academic excellence. We encourage you to continue to believe in yourself, strive toward even greater accomplishments, and pursue your dreams no matter the obstacle. May God bless you, and may he continue to bless the United States of America, Donald Trump. The four award winners this evening, if my calculations are correct, all maintain averages of 100 or better. They're not going to be surprises to you as they've each been up here quite a number of times this evening. <laughs> and we'll get to really congratulate them for their great accomplishments over the course of their time here at Monhagen. First, Austin Barringer. <laughs> Mr. Edward Sibu. Mr. Tejpal Chilana. And Miss Juliana Speckenbach. ask all of our award recipients to stand up one more time so we can please give you a round of applause. Very nice job. Okay, you guys can sit. Okay, one last time, I wanna, I wanna please thank all the, the scholars here this evening, as well as your parents, family, and friends that joined us. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I wanna say thank you to each of our distinguished guests here up on the stage with us, uh, all the teachers that are here this evening to support our students, and everybody else that is here, thank you so much. We'd like to welcome you to our cafeteria across the hall for some quick refreshments before you go home for the evening tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs>